name? Arthur Sanderson. And you are? I am the public relations officer of the Faisalabad Football Community Football Organization, better known as Football on the Gallows. Right. Tell us a bit about the 2018 season, which is ending tonight. Um, how successful it was, what are some of the challenges you face, and what are some of the new ideas or new plans that you plan to implement for the 2019 season? Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, the 2018 season, even though it was short, it was well received by the community. As a matter of fact, it has been six over 15 years that the community did not have competitive community football. And tonight, as we close the season with two of the very good teams, Generals um, from Can Street and its environs, the Coco, uh, the Lai Road, Dubari Street, and Umoja coming from Pepper Village, Orapooch, and the environs, two very good community group. And what we're going to see tonight is because of the strength of both teams, the community have actually come out to support their specific team in their community. And that is the spirit that we want to return to the gallows because that is the spirit that existed here before where we had many, many good football players of international repute that played and started football on the gallows here. Now, when we started in the, in, in, at the beginning, there were teething problems. As a matter of fact, we still have problems that we need to, to um, sort out. But uh, we must say thanks to some of the Faisabad people who live abroad that sponsored the Challenge Trophy for the best team of the league. And Tiger Tank, a community-oriented uh, company, uh, for, uh, g giving us the Challenge Trophy for the knockout competition, uh, Mr. Dennis Latif. We must give uh, praise to these two individuals who are community oriented and conscious. And there are also businesses within the community who have now come alive because they realize that they need to really support the community and these young people as it relates to the furtherance of their development in sports and also in discipline. So all in all, um, we have had a successful season. As a matter of fact, the community now realize what, how good the sport is. They are asking that it shouldn't stop. The, com the, the committee we will now have to sit, think and find out ways and means in keeping this game alive. Because football, sports in general, is the heartbeat of a community. And good sports always attract young people to come forward to play, to show their skills, and most of all, to be a disciplined individual. Sports is a way out. And in all countries, as I would say, like Mr. Mandela, deceased Mandela from South Africa, who knew that sports is a tool that can unite communities in many ways than one. So we are doing our part here, and the community have come out and supported us. And we would say that even though tonight is the final between Umoja and Generals, the game will go on and we will find ways and means in order for it to be and continue to be successful. So the community have fully endorsed this event? Well, yes, the community have fully endorsed this. As a matter of fact, um, me, when you um, pass around, you will realize that uh, at this hour, the community is out. As a matter of fact, uh, four or five months ago, the community, this, this, this area would have been dormant, dark, uh, people looking for somewhere, something to do. And tonight what you see is an entrepreneurial spirit of people coming out and selling the, the nuts, the, 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 the roti, the bread and shark. Entrepreneurial spirit have also arisen as a, re as a result of the sporting facility and the activities that we have put on this blessed place called the Gallows. From what you have seen so far, what, in what area do you think that you need to step up or maybe implement new um, plans? Oh, we need to really get the Superior Regional Corporation to do some development work as it, as, as, as it relates to seating accommodation. A better pavilion. Um, what we need to have is, is better toilet facilities because the players sometimes when they want to change, they either go under the tree, you know. And um, what we need to really is to 
understand that sports is not something that you could just think about off and on. Sports is a business. Sports is a, is a uniting force. Sports do a lot of things. As a matter of fact, sports is what we would say um, prevent the old adage from the devil is fine work for idle hands to do. And when we begin to understand that young people have talents in different ways, and when we recognize that when you put something into sports, you get back something into the community, that is an area that we need to really work in tandem with the administrative bodies so that we can have the administration working with the community in order for the furtherance of sports and the self-development of the individuals in the community. Finally, what would you like to say to the, at the end, this is the end, what would you like to say to the community of um, Faisalabad, the players and all who were involved in the football? What I would like to say to the parents is that we need your support because with your support in these times, you need assistance in growing the child. And we want to go back to the time when the community grew the child. Because parents these days, um, they have so many responsibilities with respect to putting bread on the table, seeing about shelter, and clothes on the backs of the children. So they need help as it relates to community organizations like us. And another thing, as it relates to what is taking place now in the southwestern peninsula, as it, as it relates to the Petrochin issue, we would like to also say publicly, now that all these idle resources uh, are just sitting there, overgrowing with grass and bush and snakes, and I believe the time has come for a dialogue between community organizations like us, community organizations in Point Forte, community organizations in Santa Flora, Palaseco, community organizations in Lebre, and community organizations in Faisabad, that you sit with us as stakeholders and allow these facilities to be managed and we can work with whoever the stakeholders are in, for the furtherance of sports in this community and bring back that sport, bring back those individuals who at one point in time made Trinidad and Tobago world class as it relates to football in the world of uh, what you will call um, World Cup. We had the Steve Davids, the Warren Archibalds, the Selwyn Moran, the Bursi Grill. All these big players came from Faisabad, Point Forte, Val Turton, um, um, Edgar Vidal, all these guys, they came from this part of the country. So I am asking that you work with us, we work with you, and bring the best result, especially in this period of our history and development, in this beautiful twin island of Trin Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure. It's a pleasure talking with you. Junior Simba Simon. Uh, your position? I'm the Assistant Secretary of the Faisalabad Community Sports and Cultural Association. Uh, tell me a bit about the 2018 uh, Gallows Football League. How successful it was? What are some of the challenges that you face? And um, what are some of the new ideas you're going to be implementing, uh, changes you're going to bring for 2019? If I can highlight at this point in time, as we come to the final game, the league itself started at a later time than scheduled based on ground preparation. I want to compliment the regional cooperation who was there for us and helping us prepare the grounds. And we had some challenges with the teams having to get their act together. Now that we are here today, to conclude, I must say that the team's participation was excellent. We had 11 teams uh, 
listed to play, and it broke down to just having seven completing the season. As we look forward to the 2019 season, more teams will be coming on board because some teams weren't aware, fully aware of the starting time and what's happening with the league. As I say, we experienced some challenges with preparing the ground. All right. I know that everything is on stream. I expect that 2019 will be a more promising season. Because already teams have expressed their concern that they will be here to take part in the competition. What would you like the community to know or to be aware of that they can come out and support this venture? What we're doing here, I should say, started years ago. But it became dormant. It became dormant after a few years. Mr. Sanderson and I, we sat down and we decided to bring back the football, the gathers football, with some of the top teams who used to be on the league here. I played here years gone by, Mr. Sanderson also. A Juventus, Squatters United, Jumoja, Sucro, Ocean's Eleven. These were top teams on the league. But what I, I, I must endorse that those days it wasn't like now. We played and when six o'clock the game finished. I must compliment the, the community of sports for the facility that they have afforded us so that we could be out here at this time of the night to bring the community out and have them together. And I must say that so far everything has been safe. Okay. Um, I know that um, given the opportunity there are a number of people that you would like to say thank you to. Who are some of the people that supported you all during the season that you have the opportunity now to say a special thank you to them? I first want to thank these spectators for coming out, the people of the community, for giving support to the league. Special mention to regional cooperation, because they did assist us a lot in our preparation. The people who gave us trophies, Mr. Latif, Mr. Kamona, the other business persons of Faisabad who did assist in some way. I just want to express special thanks to all of you. My name is Earl Charles. Right, and you are the? I'm the assistant PRO of the organization. Right. Um, tell me a bit about um, some of the challenges. Um, as the PRO, you are the person responsible for really like getting the prizes and right. the financial aspect. Well, the main challenges. Right. Yeah. The main challenges, I can talk about two. Right. Um, <clears throat> given that we were trying to bring back the league from way back when when we had teams like Socorro back in the 80s and 70s right we were trying to bring back these teams but it was it, it would have been comprised of much younger people right so some one of the challenges was was to get these younger people on board get the management of these teams to get the teams together right uh, another major challenge was funding right as 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 we all know right funding is always a problem because um We've been trying to ramp up the price structure, right? And because of little, little, um, 
corporation from whether it's corporate citizens or whoever, right? We had problems with, you know, trying to ramp up the, the price structure because the price structure is important because we don't want to have people playing football for a whole league and at the end of the league, they leave it nothing, right? So what, what, what are the price structures presently? The price structure, the first price is uh, $4,000. Right, the second price is two thousand five, and the third price is fifteen hundred. Right, small, but you know, this is what we have to work with. Right, uh, in the coming year, we hope that you know we would be able to afford the players a better price structure. How do you how are you preparing right now? But this is the end here. This is the finals here tonight. But you're going to be having the. New season is going to be starting sometime in 2019. Yeah. What are some of the changes or what are some of the the, 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 the new ideas that you're going to be implementing? But throughout the league, we have looked at all the games, right? And we have recognized that we need to make some serious changes, right? In terms of time, in terms of officials, in terms of, you know, um, getting corporate people on board, right? Uh, we would have to do a lot of work. As a matter of fact, we have started, right? We have started. We have been meeting on a regular basis to um, to, to to go forward for 2019. Anything you would like to say uh, before we end the interview? Like anybody you like to say mention special mention? But I would like to make special mention to my committee members, the executive basically, right? Very hardworking, right? Um, even non-executive members who has been here helping us right through. Um, one person coming to mind, or two people coming to mind, or three as a matter of fact, is Finey, Darius, Arthur Penny, right? Um, I hope that I didn't leave out anybody, but um, we've had a lot of people on board assisting us to bring this league to where it is today. Francis, the manager of Emoja. One of the managers. One of the managers. You yeah, what? Yeah, Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the management team of the of the just concluded league. Um, on behalf of Emoja FC, this team was this team was formed from a lot of visions. In um, April this year. In Urupuch, I realized it have a lot of youth men who could play sports, but nobody dedicating the time and energy behind them. So, you know, I, I send a message out and tell, um, tell a lot of young men in the area, we starting to play football in Urupuch again. There's no time for idleness. There's no time for, for crime. Taking the energies of the youths and channeling it through sports, discipline, so from that, we realize, well, we training every day, no competition, we enter that competition. Didn't do too well. And then, then Mr. Mr. Prokop, Sean Prokop met me, along with some other men, Jamal Pierre, Dev Bevan Bass, and some others, and told me they wanted to integrate players from Pfizer bag straight to Urupuch into one. And it so happened that Mr. Burton
Croker. Came up with the name Umoja, which is Swahili for unity. Right? So, on the back of that, we decided to press forward in this league and put our best foot forward. And the best foot forward is the champions of the knockout competition, Umoja FC. Thank you all. On behalf of Sapphire Strikers, we want to thank the management and staff of the Faisalabad League you know, for the opportunity given to us you know, to showcase the talent you know, in Sapphire and around the area. You know? um, it's been a while that we didn't have any youth football around. And this was a great opportunity for us, for people in Sapphire, Faisalabad and in Paris and surroundings. I know to put teams together, bring back all the clubs, you know, bring back youth football. You know, and this was a great opportunity for us. You know, I just want to thank each and everyone for that opportunity. And that's it.